Imagine losing an eye one day and then just growing it back. You might say that sounds like science fiction and I might say you're right. But for the apple snail, it's just a typical Monday. Welcome to the Goodish News Channel. I'm Ashley, your professional pessimist. In a desperate bid to convince myself that not all news is terrible, I'm here with current events that probably won't make you want to hide under the covers all day. Golden apple snails can be found in many parts of the world, or you might even find one eating gunk at the bottom of your own fish tank. A favorite in the aquarium trade, you can find these bottom feeders in almost any PetSmart you walk into. And as the name implies, apple snails can grow to be the size of an apple. As I mentioned, they're found in many parts of the world because they're unfortunately invasive. Remember that aquarium trade I mentioned? Not that it's ever been responsible for the explosion of invasive species in the past. Apple snails love rice and they destroy rice crops, resulting in millions up to billions of dollars worth of damage every year. They eat large amounts of vegetation, leaving absolutely nothing for native species. And then you know what happens to the native species. And if that wasn't enough, Apple snails carry a parasite that results in meningitis in humans. After all that really bad news, there actually is some good news. Golden apple snails can completely regrow functional eyes. Now you're probably wondering why that matters. These snails and humans share the same type of eye. We both have what's called camera type eyes. Camera type eyes are made up of a single closed chamber, a lens, a cornea, and a retina, which houses photoreceptor cells. A camera uses a lens to focus the light. The aperture of the lens determines how much light is let in and the sensor or film captures the image. Let me explain. Let me sum up. Here we have an ancient relic, a very rare species, a beauty, a film camera. Here we have a camera lens. This outside ring can focus the image and this inner ring controls how much light is let in. That lens is attached to this camera and when the button is pushed, the film that is normally in the back of the camera would be exposed to the image. Just like a camera, the lens of our eye focuses the light. The iris determines how much light is let in and the retina captures the image. Then we have the optic nerve, which connects to the brain, and then actually the image is upside down. But our brain reverses the image and puts it right side up. In fact, there have been studies where people wear these mirrored glasses. But... Insects, on the other hand, usually have compound eyes, which are made up of thousands of tiny lenses, each capturing a small piece of the view. It's great for spotting motion, but not so great for fine detail. Pros and cons, you know? A golden apple snail's eye works pretty much the same way as a human's. Same basic camera type setup with a lens, retina, and optic nerve. But the big difference, if a snail loses its eye, it just regrows one. If you lose your eye, you're stuck with a pirate patch. But at least you won't have to think about your Halloween costume for next year. Yeah, I didn't do it! I didn't do it! I didn't do it! I swear! Oh. What? What? Oh. Where am I? The snail can regrow an eye in about a month, and it's fully functional and integrated with the brain around three months. Besides sharing a similar structure, snails and humans share the same genes that help to form eyes. The Pax6 gene is needed for eyes to grow. Researchers in the study used CRISPR and discovered that disabling Pax6 leads to snails being born without eyes. Other than being blind, they physically developed just like other snails. But the lack of sight leads to other side effects. The snails would rest on their backs and they couldn't right themselves. They couldn't find food and they didn't even try to crawl. Even from help with the scientists flipping them over, they still wouldn't move and look for food. So the scientists actually grabbed some leftover lettuce from the salad bar and fed it to the snails. But that's the only way they would eat. These sightless snails show that Pax6 most likely affects development in other ways, not just vision. So why can snails act fast and loose with their eyeballs and we can't? Researchers think that molecular switches that control when genes are active are responsible for the snail's ability to regenerate eyes. Think of it like a light bulb. It only works when you flip the switch. Snails know exactly which switches to flip and when to grow a brand new eyeball. 
Humans might have the same switches hiding in our wiring, we just don't know how to use them yet. Or maybe snails have a few switches that we don't have at all. There are no known examples of adult vertebrates that can regenerate eyes after experiencing a loss of one. Gastropods, on the other hand, are a different story. When an apple snail loses an eye, stem cells start dividing like crazy, and that forms a mass that will eventually become the new eye. This rapid cell growth peaks early during the first stages of healing. And then it slows down as the cells start specializing into lens, retina, and optic nerve. All of this is controlled by those genetic switches that we talked about. They tell the right cells when to divide and when to settle down, making sure the new eye comes out functional instead of just a cellular mess. If scientists can figure out how snails flip their regeneration switches, one day we might be able to trigger the same process in human eyes. Injuries to the eye or maybe even a complete loss might be able to be reversed one day. Even macular degeneration might become a thing of the past. Let me be honest though, this isn't gonna happen tomorrow or next year, but it is a possibility in the future. If you're looking for more good news in your life, be sure to check out this video right here. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing so we can ignore all the bad news together.